Now this is really for those of you that have spent a lot of time, money, you're frustrated, the vehicle is overheating, you don't know where to look, what to do. Do not overlook this step. It is so critical on many, many modern vehicles. Let's jump over to the car. Now this vehicle is not incredibly modern. It's a 22 year old Honda. But if I perform any maintenance or repair work on the cooling system, radiator, cooling hoses, thermostat, water pump, even just doing maintenance work, replacing just the antifreeze. If I overlook this step, this engine will overheat almost immediately, very, very quickly. So this is something you want to check, okay? So take a look at the firewall. And we have this tube. This is a heater bypass tube. And there's a cap right here. This is so we can bleed the cooling system. Get all of the air out of the cooling system. There's one location there, and there's another location right here. You've probably seen this on your engine. You're not sure what it is. This is to bleed the cooling system. So we are going to bleed the system together, okay? Now, two things very quickly. If you're not sure if this is your problem, something you can try. Once the vehicle is up and running to normal temperatures, even once it starts to overheat, turn on the heater. And if you turn on the heater and cold or cool air is coming out of the vents, very, very good sign that you need to bleed the system. That's number one. Number two is after you perform these steps, if you still want another guide, you're not sure if this is really your problem, I will include a link in the description box below to an overheating help video. At this point, it may have over a million views. You can read the comments. It's helped many, many people. Give that a shot as well and hopefully you can pinpoint what's going on. So right off the bat, I'm going to fill fresh coolant into the overflow bottle, and I'm going to fill it up to the max line. Now very often I'll use something like a small water bottle because I don't want to make a mess. So we're right up to that max line. Let's go ahead and crack these bleeder valves. I removed the radiator cap from the radiator. Now this is easy enough to remove a pair of pliers. Just be careful you don't drop the little clamp. There we go. Okay. And then just loosen this bleed valve. Okay, that's plenty. Now we're going to add fresh coolant into the radiator. Now once coolant starts to come out of the bleed bolt, we tighten it down. Same with the rear. Once coolant starts to come out of that tube, we put the cap back on, and then we can start the vehicle. So we have coolant coming out of the bleeder valve here. Just going to tighten it down, not too much. That's it. And put the cap back on the rear. And as the vehicle warms up more and more, you'll find air bubbles slowly come out of the top of the radiator neck. Just have a paper towel, a rag available, clean up. Just keep an eye on it. Again, let it run. You want the radiator fan to turn on twice. And there we go, there's the cooling fan. I'll wait until it does it one more time. And there's the second time. Okay, now let's check the heater. So the cooling fans have come on twice. And again, my temperature is rock steady. Now if you want to go to the next step and really keep an eye on things, you can grab a code reader that's able to stream live data. This runs for around 40 or 50 bucks. These are terrific. I'll include a link in the description box below if, in case you do need one of these. So if I go down to data stream, select items, we can find engine coolant temperature right here. And now, whoops, wrong button, sorry about that. But now we can actually see what the temperature is and we can use it as a baseline. Now I had this car turned off for a few minutes to charge the camera, but I know for this vehicle around 95, 96 C is when the cooling fans turn on consistently. So if you want to go this extra step, by all means you can. 
And then the last thing also is check your heat. Your heat should be really nice and warm, okay? No cold air whatsoever. And that's how you bleed the cooling system. The only thing I would say is certainly keep an eye on things as the vehicle runs. You want to make sure it does not overheat. Use the uh, scan tool for the data stream to really keep an eye on the temperature if you want to. Make sure those cooling fans turn on. And I'll, again, I'll have a link in the description box below regarding if you still have issues and most likely you can pinpoint precisely what's going on. So as always, thank you so much for watching.